With the Call of Duty next event starting here soon and the Modern Warfare 3 beta is quickly following, I wanted to make this video about everything that you need to know about Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, zombies, and the new Warzone map that got leaked. So I'm gonna cover all that information with you, starting out with the very first thing you're gonna notice when you hop into any game of Modern Warfare 3. Doesn't matter what you play, zombies, multiplayer, or Warzone, the movement will be faster, significantly faster on everything. We're gonna have faster aim down sights and faster aim down sight movement speed, so you can move around a lot faster while aim down sights. There's going to be significantly less aim assist. It's going to feel a lot more skill based and it's really gonna determine who's a really good Call of Duty player and who just got carried by aim assist. And there's a new stance that's gonna change everything that you do in Modern Warfare 3. It's called the combat stance. It's a new stance that makes you faster than a walk, but slower than a run. It's gonna give you significantly less recoil at the side effect of having less versatility while using the stance. It's basically designed for those people who are gonna take long range shots and I would recommend using it up close in firefights. And Call of Duty is actually bringing back a feature that we've all been asking for since Modern Warfare 2's beta, reload cancel and slide canceling. Slide canceling is returning and that's kind of a controversial issue. However, slide canceling will not reset your tactical sprint. That was the kind of big hiccup that we saw with Modern Warfare 2019 and the original Warzone is that after you came out of slide, you can start sprinting again at full speed. That's not gonna happen in Modern Warfare 3. Your sprint will actually be paused from resetting until you get back up out of a sliding stance. However, you can still slide cancel, so sliding into a room and popping up while shooting, and you can actually aim down sights while sliding, making sliding a lot more viable in Modern Warfare 3. One of the other small changes that Call of Duty made to improve kind of movement overall is that one-time sights like red dots or holographics that have a one-times multiplier will not slow down your aim down sights while using that on a gun. That's one of the biggest downfalls of Modern Warfare 2 is that any red dot sight or any type of one-time sight that you use actually slowed down your aim down sights, so it was almost better to use iron sights altogether. And what this really all means is that the movement speed and the movement things we saw introduced in Modern Warfare 2 that not a lot of people liked are actually getting fixed with Modern Warfare 3. The movement speed in Modern Warfare 3 will be double what we saw in Modern Warfare 2. I'm not exaggerating, I mean quite literally two times as fast as you can see in this comparison right here. However, moving on to something that a lot of people really wanted to see was the new Warzone map. We've got a couple flash previews in the new trailers that Call of Duty has released for Modern Warfare 3. However, this right here that I'm about to pop up on screen is the actual map for Modern Warfare 3. What started as a map of Los Alamos quickly got converted into a map of Urzikstan. As you can see in this trailer and the kind of shots I show you right here, it is very, very similar to Verdansk. It looks a lot like Verdansk. It plays a lot like Verdansk. And it was made by the exact same team who made the Verdansk map and the Fortune's Keep map. So we know it's going to be a good map for sure. And a big shout out to Emad Alden for making this map actually. Go check him out on Twitter after this video is over with and see all the different work he does because he does a lot for a lot of different games and he has some really high quality stuff. But moving on, we're also getting some new vehicles with Warzone. And the new vehicles we got kind of showcased for a brief couple seconds in the trailer show some new top mounted guns on top of vehicles and some new kind of armored vehicles that we're going to get in Modern Warfare 3. So it'll be interesting to see how these actually play in Modern Warfare 3 and what vehicles are going to get really pulled over from Modern Warfare 2. Or are we starting with a brand new blank slate from Modern Warfare 3? Regardless, I can't wait to see what we get introduced. And while we're talking about maps, let's go ahead and start by talking about all the Modern Warfare 3 maps that we're getting at release of Modern Warfare 3. They're all going to be remasters of the original Modern Warfare 2 maps. We're going to get complete remasters of everything. However, there's going to be some slight modifications. They're adding doors for the new updated kind of game style that we got introduced in Modern Warfare 2019. And all the water areas in the maps that were previously inaccessible are now going to be able to be swam through and kind of expand the map up a little bit more than we had originally. And a little secret I'm going to share with you, the Modern Warfare 3 beta map maps are going to be these five maps, Favela, Estate, Skid Row, Rust, and on the second weekend, we're going to get High Rise added into the mix. So this will be definitely an opportunity to go play the Modern Warfare 3 beta, see how the game feels, and get to play some of those classic remaster of maps that we all know and love. However, the maps are not the only thing that we know that Modern Warfare 3 is going to introduce. It's introducing a ton of new weapons on top of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons we already have, and a ton of new operators. For example, the new operators we're going to get are going to be from the Coney faction, which is going to be a whole separate faction in the tab now. We're going to get Makarov as a playable character, and Warden, the evil female version of Ghost who works with Makarov. So it'll be interesting to see kind of dynamics there and see what her backstory is. But the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer weapons are ridiculously awesome. And while I don't have enough time in this video to tell you about all the Modern Warfare 3 weapons, I'm going to show them all to you right here. You're going to kind of see a scrolling list as I talk right now. And I'm kind of going to point out a couple of the ones that we have returning. We have the ACR in both 5.56 and 300 Blackout returning. We have the MCX Spear, which was the Aquilo 141 in the previous Modern Warfare 2019. We're also going to see a couple new marksman rifles. We're seeing a ton of LMG 
LMGs that we already know about return, including the MG36 and the PKP. And we're also seeing a couple new weapons return, including the RSH-12, which is a massive Russian hand cannon that absolutely blows people away. Along with this, we're also getting some new SMGs that we're already familiar with, some variations of the Uzi, and a couple new sniper rifles, including the AXMC, which is going to be an absolute monster of a weapon if it holds up to how it performs in real life. And all these Modern Warfare 3 weapons I just showed you are going to come in addition to the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, and the Modern Warfare 3 weapons are going to have this thing called Aftermarket Parts. Aftermarket Parts are basically a new gunsmith ability that turns your familiar weapon that you've already maxed out to the maximum level into a whole new gun. One of the examples we got was turning a Renetti pistol into an actual SMG. So there's going to be some huge variations and huge changes coming with this, but we're basically going to triple the total amount of weapons we got from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 just from these few changes alone. And I saved one of the best things for last. For the first time in any Modern Warfare title ever, in all of history, we're getting zombies introduced. I'm not talking about a zombies Easter egg, I'm talking about a whole zombies game mode in a Modern Warfare game. This new game mode is going to be kind of like DMZ and kind of like Outbreak, where you're going to have an open world to explore and kind of develop the zombie storyline. And there will be more things that are added as the seasons go on that kind of progress the storyline. But the story for it is that Victor Sakaya, who somehow survived a fall through a missile silo, got out of the missile silo, left, and escaped discovered what was Requiem from Black Ops Cold War. And Requiem was the new zombies team that we got in Black Ops Cold War. And now we know that this is going to pick up that kind of story. However, the story starts off with Weaver and all the other members of Requiem dead, sitting around a table, obviously have been there for a while. And so Zakaya steals a spicy purple zombies cocktail off the table and absolutely yeets that thing into the middle of the street and unleashes a zombie horde in an unknown city. And this is where Soap, Ravenoff, and an unknown player that you're playing as show up to help out with the zombies infestation in Modern Warfare 3 called Operation Deadbolt. It's kind of going to be like DMZ, however, with a lot more of a streamlined story than DMZ and a lot more like Outbreak, where you have certain missions you have to accomplish in an open world setting. You can accomplish them at any time in any visit, but once you beat all of them, you'll unlock a cutscene that kind of tells you what's the next step and unlock the next mission. You'll have general missions you'll have to do to unlock the next steps, and it'll be kind of an evolution of the storytelling through an open world concept, kind of letting you discover and play with all these different things across the map, including a lot of pack-a-punch machines scattered around this random town for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but I kind of want to know how they got there and if they were always there or if they were just kind of brought in with this break in the ether. Regardless, the new Zombies game mode is going to be a whole fun experience for everybody, and overall, I think Modern Warfare 3 is set up to be a pretty interesting game. Now, one thing I am going to give you a hint about for my video next week is that Makarov is in the multiplayer along with Warden, and Call of Duty, at least for the Modern Warfare series, is very, very specific about dead characters not being playable in the Modern Warfare multiplayer. So if Makarov's alive and Warden's alive, kind of gets you thinking about what the story of Modern Warfare 3's campaign is. But tell me in the comments down below, what are you most excited for? Multiplayer, Warzone, Zombies, or are you actually excited for the campaign? Make sure to tell me down below, and while you're there, make sure you subscribe, because I am Icebergs, your Call of Duty informant. And until next time, stay frosty.